Mike Perry versus Thiago Alves is happening. Who's actually going to win this fight? Well, before we talk about who's going to win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances. It was Mike Perry fought Luke Rockwell, in which both had some great shots and both got rocked in round one. To hook to the body. Oh! That chin is right up in there. Step left hand. But Luke Rockwell was taking too much punishment and quit in the middle of round two. Rockwell taking out his mouthpiece. At this, Mike Perry went on to fight Eddie Alvarez, in which Eddie Alvarez outlanded Mike Perry and took control of round one. But then Mike Perry started letting his hands go and did a lot of damage to Eddie Alvarez, in which Eddie Alvarez couldn't continue and stopped at the end of round two. It's over, it's over. They're saying this fight is over! Now let's take a look at Thiago Alves' latest performances in which he fought Julian Lane in which Julian Lane got robbed in this fight. I mean, both had some great shots, but Julian Lane outlanded Thiago and took control of the whole entire fight, but somehow they still gave it to Thiago. To the winner by split decision, Thiago! Now this, Thiago went on to fight Ulises Diaz in which both started off very fast, but Thiago did get dropped in round two. The fighters cut. Right hand. But then brought it back by dropping Diaz three times in round three. Oh, oh, right inches. And obviously Diaz couldn't continue and the fight was stopped at the end of round three. Now right away I'm going to say that this fight is not close at all regardless of what people want to say. And the reason I say this is because when looking at the stats everything is in favor of Mike Perry winning this fight. For example he is the younger fighter as he is 32 years old and Thiago Alves is 40 years old. And another stat that puts Mike Perry as the favorite is the fact that he is the more fresher fighter as he had two fights in 2022 two fights in 2023 meanwhile the Alves only has two fights and his last fight was back in 2021 so that's three years of being outside the ring which i definitely think is going to be a big disadvantage towards the Alves, and it's definitely going to show now another fact that favors mike perry is the fact that he has way more experience and bare knuckle as he has four fights winning them all and the Alves only has two fights and again they were some time ago so when talking about how this fight's going to go i got mike perry controlling the whole entire fight and putting pressure on the Alves. and when mike perry puts that pressure on the Alves and lands some hard shots he's going to hurt the Diago Alves and he might be able to stop the fight early but if that doesn't happen then Diago Alves has to witness the beating and has to take in everything that Mike Perry is throwing at him because he does like the experience and he hasn't been active so there's nothing that he could do to hurt Mike Perry and that's where Mike Perry will win the fight.